Andy and Marianne Van of Trustful, Alabama loaded up their 1966 Ford Shelby Mustang GT 350 Hertz Edition. The car has been washed since 1980. So purchased by Andy Van and Marianne. You y'all were married then, uh, or that was the year y'all got married? Yeah, yeah, I got it before we got married. Well, it's, it's an amazing story. Somebody to hang on to a car that's rare. Yeah, that long. Yeah, and uh, okay. untouched. And now you know everybody's repopping, making Mustangs, oh, yeah. and trying to turn them into this. It gets more attention just as it is, because they're only original ones. When I, I bought this one, I came back from California. I've been working for it. I had a pocket full of money. And... Twenty five hundred dollars later, and the Mustang was Andy's. You know they, they used a rental car for so long, and then they sold it, and he bought it. They turned turn them in to be sold. To be sold, yeah. Okay. That's the rent eraser for those who don't know what the H means. Rental rate schedule. Fill in the glove box with the bill of sale from Jim Skinner Ford. You could rent this thing for $12 a day in Birmingham, Alabama, or 60 bucks a week back in 1966. So y'all have lived here the whole time you've owned the car? Oh, yeah. We've been here 55 years. It'll be, it'll be 55 in August. So this car, this is its, it's home place. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, 69. Well, I know, Marianne, you said everybody and their brother tried to buy it when you were driving it as a daily driver. And that was the reason you said, I'm not driving it? I, she quit driving. I drove I quit, it for a long time. He drove it. You said it was about 79, actually. 79 or 80. They've saved a lot of water not washing that car. It also attracted a whole bunch of attention in 2009 at the 45th anniversary of the Mustang Club of America show at Barber Motorsports Park in Leeds, Alabama. He had a pouch of chewing tobacco on the dash, some S&H green stamps in the seat, and an old Pepsi can rolling around on the floor. It was cool. People loved it. He wouldn't change a thing about it. He has no plans to wash it, and his wife won't let him sell it. It was a hit. He says he never talked so much in his life. So have you driven it since then? I, I fixed the brakes on it and uh, drove it a just, little bit. I hadn't driven it on the highway. No. I just drove it around. How many miles were on it? it has Its original engine, everything is... Oh, yeah. That's the weird thing. That engine has never used a drop of oil the whole time. And it's got a lot of miles on it. Yeah, he did change the oil. And he checked the um, carburetor. and 98,400. Is that all? 936. But there were some, you know, these were all automatics. But there were some four speeds and some... Different color, some uh, red and white and, uh, and green and white, I think. The first ones I've ever seen are black and gold. It is gold. Yeah, black and, yeah, black you and gold. Tell, you can tell here, it's not gold. <laughs> oh, yeah. Back there. So. Yeah. So you're about you're about to load it up for the 60th, put it in the trailer. You're gonna keep the rain off of it, right? That's right. the that's the plan. To put it in the trailer every night. Don't want the dew falling on it. <laughs> hey, for it to get dirty. I tried to I sprayed those those um, fire fire things. I wanted to take the broom and knock them off, and he wouldn't let me. <laughs> Adds to the character. Exactly. Adds to the character. So you're gonna back it out or yeah. push it out? Yeah. Is 15 years later, and Andy and Marianne are taking their Mustang to the 60th anniversary show.
no power steering, just. Yeah. And it's really, um, I don't know So this was just the family car back then. This was just your y'all's oh, yeah. daily driver. Oh, yeah. just... That's all it is now, so it just sits in the garage. <laughs> Smells a little like old gas. <laughs> Still run. That's a, that's great. That's great. Wow. Wow. That's something. I think it's perfect. Look at that. <laughs> Man, yeah, I've always been a fan of the black and gold, so that's... I'll tell you what, they're, they're, it's a pretty car when they're restored, brand new, paint's shiny and the gold is the right color, you know, and everything. Now this thing still has the original shocks that came on. It had about five alternators on it, didn't it? Eight alternators. One I remember most was a guy named Hoyt Mann was just a trustful police and I was going out to play road and I saw him sitting there, you know, it was at night. And then I said, hell, he, he'll never catch me. I'll be five miles away by the time he gets up to speed. I went through Clay and then back around and Edwards Lake Road back home down there at the shop. Next morning, I had a tail light out because <clears throat> that water would get in them and it'd make the bug. So I, Stop. We didn't have any bubs at the service station up there, my father, so I stopped at Georgia Glens and got a tail light bug and put in it and got up there and Hoyt pulled up the whole side of us the next day, the whole side of his car is torn up. Ah, a car like that run me off the road. Man, he said, turn your lights on. I turned them on. Luckily, I put a bug. <laughs> that, you, that car had, didn't have a light, you know. He said, he, the car ran me off the road. I never saw it. Original, see it's a lot of original. Wow, that's right. the radiator. That's, yeah, well, that's neat. A little, little air cleaner. Pump on it, alternators, and push rods. And we'll go to the Marianne ran into the garbage truck. Ah. Uh, <laughs> well, actually, it wasn't the garbage I won't truck. bring that up. I don't want to. It was Riggins. Uh, it was Riggins hide and talent with a rendering plant up the road up here. It had those hard brake pads on it, Dancy. And in the morning, cold in the winter time, you know, and she couldn't stop. <laughs> Ran into the back. Wow. wow. Then, right there, and put, bent that core support a little bit. Little dang. That just adds care. It's a story. You got a story. And people, I think they're better just original, you know, they got all that. Well, that's a lot of people say that. I mean, they're only original ones, you know. And there's plenty of pretty ones out there. All of, just about all of them's been restored, you know. It's had rusted away or crashed. So you and Marianne both had Mustangs and you saw this one for sale. What made well, you buy it? Before I met Marianne. Okay. Well, well what made you buy it? What was the well, I, I just the rarity? The yeah, other yeah, and uh, it, you know it was a, you know we knew a little I knew a little bit about them and and uh, did you say this is the car I'm never going to sell? In your mind, did you say yeah, this is the car? Pretty much, yeah. Wow, look at that. That is awesome. That is That's awesome. That's 1981. Wow. A couple of troublemakers right there. Yeah, he was working for Chrysler <laughs> at that time. I told him about you running over the Riggins hiding tallow truck. I did. 
I'm sitting in a traffic light. And he, he was in front of me. And everybody took off. Well, then a car ran the light going this way. And that truck, truck stopped and I hit him. Ah. Uh, I didn't mean you know, I never yeah. tried. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> he, he, we started to pull out and he stopped. The rest of the story. Well, the rest of the story. I was right behind his big truck. I mean, I didn't see it. It took yep. 50 years to make that up. <laughs> <laughs> Her oh, alibi. I made it up that day. Her alibi is flawless. It's uh. I made it up that day. Well, she probably told me I just forgot it. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know. Wow. Yeah. That's. Uh, he's he sold out. He stopped in the middle of the intersection. Well, he stopped. But if he didn't, he probably hit that car. Junkyard life loves a good story about an old car and a family that plans to never get rid of it. If you got one, leave a comment. Thanks for watching Junkyard Life, the story beneath the rust.